Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Happy rainy Monday. Jen and Pete here from not so sunny Southern California. <laughs> we have one rainy day in like the last month and everyone's so sad. I know. I mean, it's going to be rainy for like four days. So oh, that's, no. <laughs> that's a lot. It could be rainy and like 35 degrees like it was when we were in Philly. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Who do we have? Hi, Jared. And Instagram, I always like can't figure out who's on because of their names, but I think it's Nicole maybe. Um, hi, Gwen. Happy Monday, guys. How's everybody doing today? Having a good Monday? Let's see who just joined us. So we are on um, Facebook and Instagram because we just love it. We're on the simulcast. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, honey, for my my new iPad so we could do both uh, platforms here. So how's everybody doing? Happy Monday. All right, well, let's get started. So my topic is um, how to teach your man about skincare. So most, uh, most ladies, not all, but most, we're pretty much, you know, taught at a young age how to take care of, uh, how to take care of our skin. But men just, um, you know, they have other things going on. So <laughs> they didn't really get that lesson. <laughs> and um, so I was Googling uh, just a quick um, way to teach your man how to take care of their skin. Because you got to look at this face, you know, every morning. And it's got to look nice and smooth. <laughs> right, ladies? And for men who already have uh, a skincare routine, you know, kudos to you. I mean, you're ahead of the game. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Tamara. Hi, Kai. So we are here talking about how to teach your man, like, the quick hacks on taking care of your skin. Okay, Audric, I'm teaching my little man at a very young age how to take care of his skin. So hopefully his woman will... She's way too excited about that, by the way. Dude's 11. <laughs> Okay. It's okay. It's all right. So anyway, the first thing um, is you want to keep it simple. Okay. You don't want um, to get a bunch of products and expect your man to just do like 25 things every morning and night. Um, so you definitely want to keep it simple. Stick with a simple, um, um, excuse me, a uh, face cleanser and um, a moisturizer, preferably uh, with an SPF. Um, usually you don't want to use SPF at night, so maybe two moisturizers a, a night and a daytime. So that's three whole products. So two in the morning and two in the night, right? <laughs> so that's what you want to do. And then once they get into a routine, then you can add some extra things in there, <laughs> you know, um, to help them out. So, so that's the first thing you want to definitely keep it simple if they're not used to using. Um, well, let's just put it this way: if they are currently using uh, body wash on their face in the shower, Is that um, you know? yeah, that's really bad. That's really really bad. So. Okay, I have something for you too. Okay. So you're trying to get these guys to do something they don't want to do. So when you do start having this conversation with them, make sure you have a product that works because if it doesn't work and work pretty fast, we're probably going to give up. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Cousin Curtis is on. What up, Curtis? Um, hi, Veronica. Hi, everybody. So here we're talking about uh, just the simple way to teach your man how to take care of their skin. The first one is keeping it simple. You know, keep it just to a cleanser and a moisturizer and get them hooked on that, get them, you know, started on that, preferably twice a day. Um, and then, you know, then the next step, this, the next step you want to do is educate them. So just tell them instead of like looking at them in the shower going, oh my God, they're using body wash for their face and kind of grossing out. Um, just educate them. It's okay. They, you know, they want to know, right? You want to know, you want to know yeah, what you're, you're doing, doing wrong. You shouldn't be doing yeah. Like this, you know? So the main thing with men, you know, you want to teach them, to always wash your face after you do like exercise. Uh oh, can you touch that, hon? I have a low battery, of course. Oh, what did you press? I just pressed okay. Just right. 
Um, but anyway, so um, you want to teach uh, your man to always wash their face after sweaty, after getting sweaty. So that's that's number one. Um, number two, you're going to want to use, you want to teach them to use products based on their skin type. So, you know, if they have super sensitive skin, um, if they have acne, if they have, um, you know, uh, really, old skin. really old skin or oily skin or dry skin, you want to make sure they're using the right products because like Pete said, if, if you give them something that like burns and irritates them, their skin, they're not going to use it, right? So you want to make sure that you're getting them the right product for their skin. So that's um, the next part you want to educate them. Um, you also want to, you know, um, I don't know, typically, I don't know, men and women probably spend the same amount of time outdoors. But, you know, back in the, in the day when you guys were hunters, were you hunters? Yeah, you were hunters. They were in, in the sun a lot more. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know where I went on that tangent. But anyways, you want to teach your man that he needs to use SPF anytime he leaves the house. I don't care. This dude, he works indoors, but I got him. I told him that, you know, the car ride, the commute, that sun is really, really um, powerful, you know, through the car. So you definitely want to still be wearing sunscreen, even if you're working indoor all day. Um, you know, ladies and gents. You definitely want to have sunscreen on your hands because you're driving that car and that sun is really, really powerful. So that's another tip too because your hands are just as important as your face. You know, you want to, it's um, usually a, a, um, the skin is a little bit um, thinner on your face and your hands. And so um, you want to make sure in your neck um, and your chest, so you want to make sure that that part of the skin. Hey, Corey! It's Corey! Um, so that's that. And then you definitely want to teach your man to keep their skin hydrated. No, nobody wants to, you know, be, um, be looking at a dry, ashy. Looking like ashy Larry and all wrinkled up. <laughs> definitely don't want a dry skin. You want to come say hi, son? Okay. But you should be very careful. You want to show them your watch? They can't see here. Come, come show them. Put your hand down. Oh, put your hand down. So the people on Facebook look, 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 there you go. And then you can tell them what you you use good skincare, right? Yeah. You wash your face? Mostly I don't. Mostly. Okay. Watch out, bud. We're almost done here. Oh thanks, bitch. Um, so we have hi Shelly. Hi Corey. Okay, so um and then I think I started with this. We want to make sure we teach our men that your skin on your face versus the skin on the body is, is different. So you gotta use different products. You can't use body wash on the whole shebang. Um, so the next thing that you wanna do to help your man is keep it obvious. So um, ladies, if you got some products for your man and you want them to use the products, you wanna keep them out. So as much as we like to keep the countertop clutter free and all pretty, um, sometimes it might be beneficial to just leave the products out on the sink ready to go so that they don't miss it, right? Or in your shower right next to the body wash. Or that too, yep, there you go. Um, and then the last thing is have some fun, like um, maybe do a mask, like a weekly mask night. So exciting. Yeah, it's so exciting. At least once a week. And then, you know, when you have one on uh, before bed, your man's not looking at you like you're some kind of wild animal or something. But, um, it's good for your skin. It really like, you know, cleans out the impurities, cleans out the pores, and you you like the results. So it's, it's really important. So those are some tips on how to teach your man how to take care of their skin. And I have Pete on here today because I thought I'd, we'd um, ask him a few questions. If you, if you guys have any questions for Pete, feel free to um, put them in the comments and we can, we can go through them. But um, <clears throat> we have a real man here with us today, so this is really exciting. Uh, Pete, so how do you feel, we talked about having to use um, different products on your face versus your body. Um, how do you feel about that? Is that like a big deal to you or you want to talk about that? Well, first it sounds like a hassle because body wash is so convenient. And sometimes you get the one that's like, the shampoo, conditioner, and the body wash all in one, and that feels like a baller move, but just like other things in life, you wanna use the right tool for the job, so once you switch, it is an extra step, but like I said, if you can find something, a skincare regimen that works for you, you start seeing results, then you see the value in it, so it's a big deal at first, but then once it starts working, then you see the value, and it's not such a big deal. There you go, and do you like how cozy we are? We're like, it's 
Pete is still in his jammies. We got, we're cozying up because it's a rainy day here in sunny Southern California. Um, but anyway, okay, so Pete, cool. Uh, and then also, like, how do you feel about um, incorporate, like, when did you start doing, incorporating a skincare routine and how do you feel, um, like, what are the benefits of it um, that you've noticed? Okay, so the older I get, the more I am. I have to speak up a little bit. Uh, the more I like to, you know, take care of myself. So I have very sensitive skin because I have to shave every day. So, you know, I went through all kinds of, you know, aftershaves and, you know, face cleaners at Walmart that were not doing the job. So Jen hooked me up with, you know, a high-end skincare regimen that worked. And, you know, just getting rid of that sensitive skin, taking care of that part of my shave. I really, you know, started to believe in that kind of uh, routine because it worked. When it didn't work, I didn't believe in it, but I found a product that worked for me. So just going from, you know, making my shave less painful, getting rid of the sensitive skin, that made me see the value in, you know, you know, face wash and moisturizing and, you know, all that kind of SBF stuff. And, you know, you start to get a lot of compliments. And you're like, okay, well, you know, we can keep doing this. <laughs> All right, so less sensitivity, um, smoother skin, yeah, mm -hmm. what else? Uh, compliments, you know, you just look more better. smooching. Yeah, you just look better. Your, your woman wants to like, you know, mm -hmm. look at you more. Yes. <laughs> Chicks are really into good skin, guys. So if you have good totally. skin, then it's just a little less effort you have to put in. Hey, JoJo, thank you. Thanks, love. Okay, and then um, do you feel that all pro all skincare products out there on the market are the same, or do you feel like some are um, better than others? What, what are your thoughts say on that? Before I started doing this, I felt like all skincare was a sham. But like I said, you just gotta talk to people, find out what they're using, what works, what doesn't work, find out what's the best product for you because there is a huge difference. And you know. A lot of times, I'm not saying you want to break the bank, but you pay for what you get. Get something that's going to work for you, that's in your budget, and you will you will be presently surprised. All right. And last but not least, are have you been pretty consistent uh, doing your skincare routine both morning and night? Um, or have you found that it's really not as time consuming as you might have thought? I am consistent because I like the results I'm getting and it doesn't, it, it, once you get into the habit, you cut time off the routine in the beginning, you won't know what you're doing, so maybe take a little longer than normal, but once you put in the reps, you'll get faster at it and it's not, you know, adding that much to your day. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much, honey. I really appreciate you taking the time to um, answer these questions for us. No problem. <laughs> So much fun. Um, okay, so ladies, if you would like some more tips um, for your on how to teach your man or how to get your man into um, taking care of his skin, message me, and I'd love to share more with you. And you know, dudes out there, if um, if if you're looking, you know, I have five more tips that will make um, that will make any get any woman's attention. So if you are interested in some tips message me and I will send you them. I am very passionate about helping people get their best skin. And so ladies, men, you know, everybody has skin. It's the largest organ on our, in our body. We only get one set of skin. Um, so I would love to help you take care of it a little bit better. So I have some more tips. So message me and I will send them to you. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening. And today is, um, the middle of our 14 day challenge. So today's day seven. So I'm really proud of myself because I've been coming on for seven days straight. I hope you guys aren't sick of me. <laughs> and um, and I'll be back tomorrow. So, cause I have seven more days. So um, anyway, message me and I'll send you some more info and I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. And Bye. all the guys on the East Coast and all that weather out there, all that snow, hang in there. Yes. Spring's coming soon. See you, Corey. Bye guys.